Come on, girls. Yeah. Come on, girls. Fresh veggies. The mission is to be able to provide chemical-free, nutritionally dense foods to everybody regardless of income level. And so we work on a sliding scale, we do a lot of work trade, a lot of bartering, but the essence is to be able to create a sustainable system where we not only provide food but education so that people have a place they can come to to learn about farming, to learn about their foods, to harvest their own livestock if they prefer or if they desire, and, uh, and be able to do that within the, the middle income budget so people don't have, don't have to break the bank to eat. We provide an all-inclusive farm, mm -hmm. so we have an open door policy where people can come just about any time of the day and meet the animals, they can feed the animals. We have children that come and feed the baby <laughs> bobble calves and it's feed the baby kids. chickens and, and get involved with the farming process. Mm -hmm. So we're a very educational oriented farm. The other piece that makes us very different is that we don't have a fixed price where I always tell people we don't want to turn you away because you can't afford it. Almost all the livestock we use are heritage species. With turkeys, for example, that we're harvesting for Thanksgiving are all wild native turkeys. Mm -hmm. So it changes the way that you cook, it changes the way that you eat, it changes the nutritional value, uh, but we try to glean a lot from the native cultures, not only from the livestock we use, but also the plants. We use a lot of the medicinal, local medicinal varieties in our cooking and preserve using mostly drying and, and fermenting, all natural. Um, native means. Mm -hmm. We believe that the most important philosophy when it comes to harvesting is keeping everything circular. I, I think that one of the big challenges with most of the commercial industries is waste. Mm -hmm. and when it comes to livestock, I think one of the most important pieces is gratitude. So everything that's harvested is harvested on site. I walk every animal, which is a pet, all of them are named, I know their entire history, and I walk them up and we say an incredible blessing, an American Indian blessing to keep everything circular and the energy flowing. And then we harvest them on site in a completely relaxed environment. And then once harvested, every element of the animal is used. So we try to get in touch with all the native cultures and be able to recycle all these because, because everything has value. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you. So we will be preparing a dish that has venison. So would you join us in preparing that? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Hello, no way. Hey, how are you? To see you. Good Thank to see you. How are you? Hey, hey. Christian. How are you? So we are here with Chef Noe Garnica from Verde Cocina. So what are we all cooking today? Today we have a, um, we, we cook a little breakfast today. Okay. It's venison, potatoes, onions, kale, chanterelle mushrooms, and eggs for breakfast and a little kombucha that just my friend made today here. And we'll see what we can do today. So we put a little oil right here okay. in the pan. Put a little onions, just two. All right. Just let it cook a little bit. And then we have potatoes here. We have the eggs. So how about you help me with that? Okay. You just get a spoon, throw like a couple spoons right here in the pan. All right. <laughs> Looks incredible. That'd be great when it's cooked. And so this is the venison? This venison, yes. And where is this sourced? The venison was actually donated by a local family to a farm and we kept a very small percentage of it to use on this show and gave the rest to some families in need. Like right here we have a San Kombucha, he made it. You can tell me about this kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented tea and uh, it, it, the longer it ferments, the more it tastes like vinegar, but a wonderful, wonderful health benefit. It has a lot of wonderful characteristics for your body enzymes. Can you able to throw a little bit there? Okay. You'll be cooking with kombucha. Just All right, throw how much? You yes. Yeah. Don't be shy. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm. So we just let it cook for a little bit to let it sit. It. And then we be adding a little potato. We have it right here. All right. Wow. A little potatoes. We just cooking. Like nice and roast potatoes. And then we put a little tomato paste right here to the to the venison to get a little more flavor. Okay. And we just Wait in light, and we throw a little more salt right here to make it taste good. I can really smell the kombucha. Yeah, they have a very acid flavor. A lot of people like to drink, but they don't. They don't cook it with that. Mm -hmm. It's a new product that coming out a few years back. Right. I think they be people be enjoying it more than ever. Mm -hmm. So I also noticed we have some other ingredients like kale and 
dried zucchini. Can we add those to Absolutely. the mix too? Absolutely. I have it right <laughs> here ready. All right. Nice and crispy. We just add it to that. And we this one we cook it with kombucha. Uh -huh. We reduce with kombucha. Okay. So you cook the zucchini with the kombucha as well? Yes, I did. Okay. And um, the zucchinis, they get very good flavor. And then we throw a little kale right here. I love mm. kale. And then for, because we make, we're making a, a breakfast dish, mm -hmm. we put a little olive oil right here and we crack an egg. We put it right here. When you cook it like far egg, they get more fluffy. Yep. And they don't have to do anything. You don't have to put any flour. You don't have to put any meal to the egg to make right. it fluffy. Those certainly look very fluffy and <laughs> delicious. <laughs> so like you can see the Venice's loose, they get together now. Everything they compare to the kombucha is reduced. Mm -hmm. It's nothing there. Wonderful. And then we just throw fluff oh. a little bit. You're good at that. Yeah, after you do a few hundreds every day. <laughs> right, right. You get the practice going. Now, so, so we could expect the same local ingredients at your restaurant. Yeah, we do. We source it very high. So that's breakfast. And we just put the eggs in the side. Wow. And we're ready for breakfast, guys. Incredible. Ready to eat. So, guys, I want you to try this and you'll be enjoying it. Mmm. The chanterelle mushrooms taste really nice in that too. Where are they from? We picked them actually just a few months ago at a secret location near here. Come, Come on, dried. tell me. Let me know yeah, where it is. Where was the secret? Maybe off it camera. <laughs> <laughs> they get a nice flavor from. Enjoy. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. I'm Christina, and we are bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.